I'm going to begin by asking just what it was about this uh, project that appealed to you. Um, I think there were two things that appealed to me. One of them is, is uh, Hani Abu Asad and just his films, which I really respect, and the opportunity to work with him. And then um, our first time we met, we didn't know each other, was on a Skype. He was in L.A., I was in New York, and we just hit it off. Uh, we, we, we immediately were communicating. Uh, we immediately got into the weeds of the screenplay. Um, he was trying to figure out how to end the movie, and we were talking about different ways to end it. How do, how do humans relate to each other? What happens in a, in a love relationship? How would that affect the end of the movie? So that was one reason, was just Hani was uh, someone I respected and then found to be immediately engaging and someone with whom I could communicate easily. Uh, the other thing was the story. Um, you know, that Kate and Idris were in it and that it was gonna be two strangers uh, forced together by circumstance and how they find a way uh, not only to survive but find a way to each other, an emotional connection to each other. And obviously when you're dealing with quite a, a, sort of small cast, a sort of modest sized cast, does that make it harder to maintain the pace of the narrative, I guess, because you haven't got all these different characters and this kind of constant flow of dialogue? There's nowhere else to go. You have two, you have two luckily very gifted actors uh, who really kept the thing alive, but at the same time uh, we found when we were previewing it that this, the, the moments in the screenplay when, uh, or the moments in the film I should rather say, the moments in the film when they're separated, the audience would perceive as being very slow. They really wanted the two of them together. They needed that the dynamic, the kind of synthesis of the two people together. So while the story necessitates a couple of periods where they're separated for very specific reasons, we compacted those as much as possible because really uh, the dynamic of these two together was what engaged the audience in a, in a really uh, visceral way when we screened it in the theater. Of course, it's all shot in quite uh, harsh conditions. And you've also made Thin Ice and Ice Harvest and Wind Chill. Even Snowden sounds quite chilly. Um, what, is this like a niche? Do you just get attracted to just snowy endeavors? I don't know. I grew up in Michigan, which is, you know, in fact, I grew up not far from Toronto. So, uh, yeah, snow, snow is in my past. I don't, you know, I don't know if I'm really drawn to snowy endeavors, but um, certainly this is, this is, this is the snowiest. There are moments in this film, as you'll see or you've seen, uh, uh, where it looks like Lawrence of Arabia, where the snow really looks like great desert sand. So, uh, if I am attracted to uh, snowy films, this is the non-plus ultra. Thank you so much for your time. Okay. Cheers.